Welcome to MoCo. My name is Stephanie Palomino and today we have Paul here with us. Big data is a big topic for mobile marketers or marketers in general. So when we can use this data in a positive way to interact with the user? We're looking for ways to get permission from the user to be able to share in that data. The really key part is that we must show that we must give value for them, not try to collect value from them in the first instance. You know, that, I think that's the mistake that many marketers make is they get data and they think, how can I exploit that data? And actually the answer should be, how do I create value or be of service to, to my user by having this data? Do you have an example for that? Well, if you, if you think about uh, the data that's collected through lots of the health and fitness apps, you know, yeah. started, Nike started with that, Nike Plus a while ago. I'm an addict of a, of a data, uh, an app called Strava, which collects all my running and cycling activities. If you think about that, that has value for me in being able to see where I've been, see where I'm going, see how my friends are performing. But actually Strava is using the data as well to help with city planning to show where people are riding their bicycles and what time they're riding the bicycle so they can help city planners decide how to uh, manage streets and manage traffic. That's the same data but used in completely different ways. And have you an example for a mobile marketer who was using the user data, the, the individual user data in a, in a positive way? Yeah, I think so. There are lots of brands. I mean, Nike is a good example of that. And perhaps Under Armour now are also a good example. They're allowing the collection of lots of different types of this intimate data from the wearable devices and what have you to be used by individuals and then held by the brand for them so they can track their own fitness progress. What they do is they give you back feedback on what you've been doing and suggest how you can change your, your training or improve your training to improve your fitness and help you reach your own personal goals. That for me says, that's a very different thing to, we want to sell you more training shoes. There's more and more talk about that people are too much connected, there's too much data is collected yes. from people, they feel a bit offended about it. Yeah. How, what is your take on that? What is your advice to your clients? I, I think that we st our starting point is to say, the world has changed because of the data that's collected on mobile. I think as individuals we moved away of thinking about there's data about me to it's my data. And so the challenge for brands is, is to find acceptable ways of collecting, use, managing, using, storing data in a way that a consumer would, would find acceptable but also valuable. We have to make clear to them what the value exchange is in, in me providing all of this explicit, implicit, intimate data. What, what is the value in me, in me allowing you access to that? And it is the allowing access part that is, that is really going to change over the next five years. So thank you so much for being here, thank Paul. You. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.